we have to keep the show going because, you know, uh, we just had, you know, the land of fairy tale. You know about fairy tales. You learn them growing up and you, you think about them and you hear about them. You see movies made uh, from fairy tales. But not a lot of people know fairy tale land is actual an actual place that's ongoing. Yeah, things happen there all the time with the characters we've gotten to know through the years. And they have a news channel who covers all the news there, a lot of entertainment stuff. But there's some late breaking news going on in the land of fantasy. <laughs> land, and uh, we're going to take you down to the Channel 6 late breaking action news. Can, something's going on. I need a suggestion of your favorite fairy tale. Anybody who knows fairy tales, who's written a fairy tale, maybe you've written a fairy tale and you like this, give it the suggestion tonight. Well, Peter Pan. So Peter Pan, oh, yes, what? Yes. All right, we got it. We have to cut to the Channel 6 news break about Peter Pan. Something's going on in the land of fantasy. Everybody, welcome to the Channel 6 action news. Hello, everybody. I'm Charlie Charles, and this is Fit Rick. Oh, I'm sorry. I got to stop drinking that dwarf liquid. Oh, I told you not to take those presents from the dwarfs. Uh, Never I'm, trust the dwarfs. Anyways, in my ear, your earpiece, your earpiece. There's some late breaking news going on about Peter Pan, and it is not good, Rip. It's true. Peter Pan has lost all ability to fly. He can't what? find pixie dust anywhere. Wow. You know, we're so used to Peter just flying around and singing and I mean, he's such a fun guy. And now he can't fly, which would change your personality and make you depressed. We have some reporters down on the scene. There's late breaking news about Peter Pan not being able to fly. We have a reporter down on the scene. Hello. Who is this? Hello, yes, it is I, Fauna, Fauna. coming to you live, actually, from Fairy Hollow. Oh. Uh, it turns out that the fairies have a shortage of pixie dust, and oh. that may be the reason that Peter can't fly. I'm here with the uh, very popular fairy. Her name is Petunia. Hello. <laughs> Hello, Petunia. Thank you for joining us today on Channel 6 News. Uh, so, do you make the dust? Do you make the fairy pixie dust? As a matter of fact, I am. I am the head fairy that, that pushes the buttons, that makes the dust extract and come out and turn into magic. Yes, that's me. Ah. Wow, great interview. Now, wow. Rumor has it that there is a shortage of dust. Ooh. Is this true? As a matter of fact, it is. Yes, last night, you see, someone left the window open. Oh, and all the dust floated away out of the window. Oh, my, Petunia, that is terrible. Now, who guards the window? Whose job was it to make sure the window was closed? Oh, that would be Tweedledee and his brother Tweedledum. Interesting, uh -huh. Tweedledum. Yes. Mm -hmm. Wow. This is wow. Fauna reporting live from Channel 6. Okay. Wow, great reporting. I can't believe you scored that ace interview. And did you see what she was inferring there? Tweedledum was involved. Clearly, Tweedledum has something with this going on. Uh, you know, he's never been the, the Tweedle to trust. He's no. always been the shifty of the Tweedles. Um, rumor has it he's also the one that pushed Humpty Dumpty off the wall. Yes, Never I've read that rumor, and I think I believe it. You remember that one time he came by the Channel 6 Christmas party? Created some trouble. We don't want to get into it. But so yeah. Tweedledum is involved somehow, and Peter Pan is lacking magic to fly. What? You know, you know I, I'm, I'm getting something that uh, it sounds like – it sounds like we have another reporter here on the scene. That's, uh, oh, there, there she is. Yes. Aye, aye, aye. It's Captain Bell here. Captain Bell! Yes. Arr. I what do you came think? all the way from the sea to give you the reports. Arr. Arg! Arg, back at you. Thanks for coming down to the report. I'm breaking up, but what do you see down there? Well, arr, from my boat, I can see that there's many fairy dusts right in the middle of the sky. Arr, this seems to be a problem. Arr. But I do have an interview here. I, I like you. I'd like you to meet someone. It is, it is 
Tweedledum. Mm-hmm. Oh my God, Tweedledum! Tweedledum! Yo, 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 what's up, it's me, Tweedledum! Ah, oh, that's right, matey, it's Tweedledum who's come down to give us some answers. What happened in the factory, Tweedledum? Okay, you guys, you're crazy! I was sitting on the window, making sure that nobody came in or came out, and then you know how it is, kind of like Humpty Dumpty, I fell on the wall, and the window went open, and I was like, uh-oh, they're gonna blame me again. And then all the dust, it just went, wow! Wow. Wow. This wow. seems to be a problem there, Captain. <laughs> Can you relay this question? Is Tweedledum lying? Because remember, Riff, Tweedledum's not supposed to lie about lying. Tweedledum. Arr, maybe I've got a question for you. Are you lying or are you telling the truth? Oh, I'm definitely lying. Oh, there you go. Thanks. Wow. Wow. So, um, could you, could you ask Tweedledum, what's he's done with the magic stuff? Can we get it back? And will Peter Pan ever be the same? And if Peter Pan needs counseling, will Tweedledum pay for it? Tweedledum, are matey, you seem to be the problem. Are you gonna have enough to cover the therapy that Peter Pan needs now that he can't fly, are? Uh, yeah. Are you lying? Yeah. <laughs> wow. Wow. You, Charlie Charles. Whoa! Thank you, Captain. That was an amazing report. We're ripped. Once again, Tweedledum has created havoc, and we didn't really learn anything about the magic fairy dust. We didn't, unless that magic fairy dust is responsible for those epic dance moves by Tweedledum. You know, I've never seen Tweedledum dance quite as good as Tweedledum is dancing. So th this is in. We're gonna. We have to break away now. But Tweedledum stole magic pixie dust. Peter Pan needs counseling. He cannot fly anymore. Tweedledum now a world class dancer. Rip any thoughts? It must be a frabjous day for Tweedledum to be dancing away. A frabjous day for Peter. But what about Peter? If you can send in and donate any money to the Peter <laughs> Pan needs therapy. Um, please donate today. Now, we have to, I'm Charlie Charles, that's Rip Van Winkle. We now thank you back to your regular scheduling program, Gnomes on Ice. Ladies and gentlemen, fairy tale news. Whoa, what a great suggestion. You know, the thing I love about our shows is we get a peek into the land of fairy tales because, you know, once again, people don't even realize it's a real place and things are going on and I just hope that works out with Tweedledum. Well, maybe we'll get an update some other show. But now we have to keep the show moving.